Is he aware of the household financial situation? I think as much as he wants to be. I tried to have conversations about it. He's like, yeah, okay. I've been in debt. I've been out of debt. Just the process. Well, the process has landed you in debt. <laughs> you find the debt situation funny? Uh, I mean, not as serious as you. That could be dangerous for the kid's future as well. I mean, my emotional state's more important. I'm more valuable than the debt that's there. So it's the game and I got to play it. Game. I get to live. I get to eat. That's how it goes. Sometimes I have to be in debt to do the things I want to do. Hi, my name is Lily. I'm 33 years old. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm 40 years old, based out of San Antonio. And this is Financial Audit. Thanks for coming on, guys. Thanks for coming up. Uh, so this, by the way, this, I've, I've, I had the privilege or like consequence <laughs> of being able to say this only a few times in the show's history, but this is one of the thicker piles of absolute paper I've ever seen. And uh, shocker, 90% debt as tends to go with this show. So I want to know first, what do you do for a living? I am a seventh grade math teacher. Okay. What do you make? Uh, last year I grossed 68,000. And what do you do? I'm also a teacher. So I teach okay. cultural studies. Oh, very cool. That was my favorite subject. Um, what, how much do you make? I think last year, 63 generally is what I made. Why do you make? Less. Because I teach math. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Going for the, you know, STEM route. Sure. So, cool. What is going on here? What do we got? What what we got here? Because I got such a big pile. <laughs> Give us any kind of just basis for what we're about to dive into. What is happening, guys? So, when we got married, I had, um, we actually had very minimal debt. When did you guys get married? In 2018. Okay. Um, And I slowly started to try to build up our credit profile. And Mm -hmm. um, because of my past transgressions as a young adult, being a single mom, I had to... um, get lots of little debts instead of trying. I tried to get like, like I had a credit card, right? Yeah. And I tried to get more credit, but in order to do that, I had to get multiple credit cards. Because you a single woman, you had a lot of past transgressions? No, I sucked at fine. I sucked as a single mom, like. A single mom, okay. uh, Every six months we were moving because I couldn't pay my rent. Okay. Uh, So so we have a kid. We have three kids. What ages do we have? Um, 11, five, and one. Wow, a brand new one mm-hmm. just spawned. Okay, cool. Wow. So you brought some of the past transgressions, as you said, to the relationship. Yes. So, okay, go on. Um, so I tried to improve our credit by improve, like getting more credit limits and things like that. But because- And did you know this was happening along? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, were you like authorized users, co-signer? Yeah, generally um, I was an authorized user. I think it's okay. a little bit of both. Like we have some that are together. We have some that are separate because yeah. mm-hmm. if something were to have happened, I didn't want to affect both of our credits. So obviously mission failed. Yeah. This <laughs> big pile. How, how did we f- fail? What because is going down. So when our youngest was born, because she's going to be too soon, um, okay. we had actually consolidated all the debt and it was completely all the credit cards were paid off. And Let me then, guess, you didn't change any behavior before you did that? Probably not, but also we got into a really bad car accident and I was out of work. Um, we wow. got We got hit by an 18-wheeler. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, I was out Did of work. Did you sue? No, they actually deemed us at fault. Yeah. So. Disability? Um, we didn't get it until four months after the accident. Why? The Be- investigation? It just took a while. Okay. Um, so I was out um, for six weeks of work, but then once I started going back to work because we're teachers. And this was almost two years ago. No, this was November, or we got the, we got in the accident at the end of October. Oh, almost okay. a year ago. So for a few months, we had to live off of just one income. One income, yes. yeah. Okay. And it was Christmas, and okay. Well, we okay. have well, we that's ha- not how that works, <laughs> right? We have a hard time telling that's not how that works. I know, but we also have kids. I just said that's not how that works. I like. I'm sure they want things. I would love them to get things. If something tragic just happened that prevents us from literally getting things without f-ing ourselves, I don't think we are getting the things. Sure, have but a Christmas in January. They're all young. They don't know what's going on. 
I mean, sure. I mean, two of them probably don't, but it's hard when it's not even like the Christmas presents. It's like we want to go out as a family together and they want they're just like, want, want, I want. That's I know, fantastic. I know. I mean, that's great. But why does want supersede? Literally, but it was also buying, living a better life is it was also family? buying groceries and well, that I'm not opposed we to. We pay I'm, all the we pay, okay. we pay the majority of the bills in the house. What's your what majority of the bills? Yes, because we have nine people living in our house, not including How big is the house. Uh, it's a five bedroom. It's like twenty eight hundred square feet, five bedrooms. We converted the garage into a bedroom. Who are these people? His mom and dad and his two oh, brothers. Okay. And your two brothers. My brothers weren't living with us, but then I guess, you know, life happens and you have to kind of come back time? home. Yeah, um, one one ironically, yeah. One sold his house um because he inherited it from their grandparents. They had a reverse mortgage on it and for whatever reason it just fell through. So Did he get anything from the sale? Yes. He got a hundred K. Why didn't he put that towards the living on his own? Oh, whatever. Okay. No, yeah, so no, you pay that, the majority that, of the bills. That's What's, a valid question, but I can't answer that. So What's like the, is it rent? Is it mortgage? No, we own the we house own outright. It. Okay. See, in that case then, how could we not live off of the 63? Yeah. We did I it. mean. Well, you, we did it successfully. <clears throat> for a while. That's what I was trying to get to. What do you mean for a while? It was only four months until you got disability. I know. Yeah. So how do we fall into such, how the f*** did this happen only a few months ago? And we have literally barely well, any overhead. I mean, Other than obviously the, groceries. The and... credit cards were from then, but huh? the credit cards was the from this, this. time. Yes. At um, least individual. Yeah. Okay. I want to Some hear of it same. was, I mean, I guess some of it was when our AC went out last year, but um, but the majority of it, yeah. You the majority that? Of it, uh, we had to, We that's how we started slowly accumulating debt on the credit cards again because we had to buy a new. Because our AC went out. Because we bought a new window unit for our bedroom. And that? It just spiraled into, let's put it on the credit card, or I leave my debit card at home and I'd use my deb my credit card. Have you guys like just sat down? What are you, do you guys have financial goals as a couple, as a household, as a family? We try. What do you mean we try? What does try look like? Because we're not trying. This I, isn't trying. You, this is not trying. You're right. I try to um, have conversations about it and it just, he's like, yeah, okay, sure. But I feel right now she uh, one of her goals is to open up a coffee shop. So now, <laughs> once the debt's what off, we're doing? but but yeah. there's so much t what how how uh, physical. So my point is the goal the goal now can have some sort of focus. When before we were just kind of is having that the this right money. goal for our household? That's one of the goals. I don't think uh, it should be. Uh, we should just have one goal. And she said you just like nod your head yes when talking about the financial goals. Do you, are you aligned? Are we a lot? Me and her aligned? Well, she just said like she says the financial goals, and you're like, uh huh. You set the financial goals. Could you give an example? Like when I say, "How much do you think we should spend on this this month?" And you're just like, "Yeah, whatever." Or I, I like, or I try to I say like a survey question. Or know, I like, try to say, "Hey, to I'm gonna bucks, pay off." Hundred bucks, five hundred yeah, well, bucks. Is like, it, but is it followed? Um, do I have? Do you follow up with? Do you guys budget? No, no, we don't. No. no, we don't. We know okay. we don't have a lot of overhead. I try. I think because you someone made a budget together. No, not together. Why? Because I think finances it's combined. Yes. Yes. Everything. Then how have we never made a budget together? I think it's just he's he's like, yeah, you pay the bills. I you're feel good. like I feel like our budget, you know, the budget she makes is our budget for the most part. Do you even know it? I look at it. I reflect on it. Um, I talk well, to her you about it. Reflect on it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys sit down and go over the past month's purchases together and how that aligned with this magical budget? We do for our big expenses, like going out to eat. Uh, we That's track a big that. How is that a big expense when we have so much debt? It's just one of our biggest expenses. In how? Terms of if like, we have so much debt, how? Um, so you, what you're saying is um, because we have debt, we shouldn't eat. Out. Out, specifically. Okay. I'm guessing it's not a cheaper way to feed nine people or five on the minimum. Mm, for sure. Right? Yeah. Whenever we're spending like that, it's always like this. Uh, we're in this 
position where we're like um, sniffing, you know, smelling the roses kind of. And I think he also oh, likes roses. To, this is a pile of. Sh I think he likes to take advantage of um, a woman's time of the month. <laughs> what? In terms of eating? That's yes. I mean, if I've never heard about that for restaurants. What are we talking <laughs> about here? Because when, when every woman has it, right? Yeah. And typically that comes with cravings, every and so he's like, Noah. he's, you know, he's like, hey, let's uh, let's go. You don't need to cook right now. <laughs> let's go here. Let's go there. Yeah. Him and the oldest are bad about that, and you can't say that you're not. Depends on what we're oldest is eleven. Goal. Why the f are you listening he's to? He's like, hey, now? let's go to let's go to Chili's. Just put them in front of a movie. That's what we did. <laughs> Just because we all have snacks. That's why. Oh, we do have snacks. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He didn't get to be the big boy that he is. Uh, Noah's not happy uh, that I just said he goes through menopause. So he <laughs> says he says I have a an aggressive post show uh -oh. surprise. <laughs> Great. We did so, um we did bring you an offering so you'd be a little nicer to us. I do have bad news. You're not going to eat it because you're trying to lose weight. Yes, I've been a, a few. F looks good. You even put the little salt flakes. Yeah, they I also made. Good. So these are chocolate chips. Oh, they smell incredible. Stop it! <laughs> I've been successful for a couple weeks, a few a couple, weeks. But you can have two one. to three. I'm down a decent <clears throat> bit. One. I don't know if it fits in. So girl. the big financial goal okay. kind of ties into the cookies, though. Okay. So the um, reason I want the coffee shop. Okay, we have a five. Sell cookies. Part of partly yes. You why don't bake you goods a, and coffee. Why don't kinda. you open a cookie shop then? Because I really like coffee. Oh, okay. I like coffee too. Um, so my, my breath probably smells like coffee. Sorry, but <clears throat> no, you're good. Mine probably does too. Um, my our five year old is um, autistic, and um, through him, I've kind of learned. I've never been diagnosed, but I'm pretty sure I'm autistic as well. And um, you agree? Do I agree? That I'm yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but. I want to open up the coffee shop to employ um, autistic. No, you want to be fat. Look at them. They just grab those cookies and they're just throwing there's, them down there's back there. Also, she wants to make, she wants to open there's them. also matcha white those chocolate. Those are delicious, y'all. So, you know, they're green I've tea. They're had. good. They're good for you. And if you don't want them, that's okay. But they're going to go in a safe spot after. I got them. They're all y'all. Y'all can. Men are not supposed to have. And I got. So I can't eat them cookies. Um, so I want to open up a coffee shop to employ autistic, high functioning autistic um, to make money? people to teach employable skills for them. So you're opening a business for not to make profit? Well, yes, it profits one factor, but it's not the only factor. I know, but that's usually how businesses stay in business. Right? So if you have ultimate, like, for example, we want to help a lot of people here. We want to help a lot of people here that aren't just on the show that are in the <laughs> audience. We want to contribute a lot to like local communities. I have so many ambitious things. Can't do that if the business doesn't stay open. So the no, business sure. has to make money. Um, so we already have so much debt, but we're considering, is this a brick and mortar? No, no. Truck? We, we want to start with a truck, yeah. Okay, it's still expensive. What are we talking? Hundred? I don't know. My fifty to a hundred? Maybe two hundred? My Depending. brother so my brother in law or not my brother in law, my brother um told me that he would build me the truck. I would not trust that. Because mm -hmm. that's like the family project where it's like, yeah, then they do it for a couple of weeks and then it's just like, oh, life's got busy and mm -hmm. You're right. Attention business owners. What if I told you there is a way you can cut your business operations costs almost instantly? But Caleb, there is no way that's possible. Well, thanks to today's sponsor, NetSuite by Oracle, it absolutely is. NetSuite is the number one cloud financial system, bringing accounting, financial management, inventory, HR, all into one platform and one source of truth. Imagine NetSuite as the engine room of your business, making sure all aspects of your business are running smoothly together. With NetSuite, you reduce IT costs significantly. It's fully cloud-based, so there's no need for expensive hardware. Just log in from anywhere and you're set. Managing multiple systems can cost your business a ton of unnecessary money and not to mention is a complete hassle. NetSuite simplifies this by offering one unified business management suite, which cuts down the cost of maintaining various systems. Moreover, NetSuite boosts efficiency by integrating all your major business processes into a single platform. 
reducing manual tasks and errors. This means more time focusing on your business and less on dealing with operational headaches. And guys, this isn't just my opinion. Over 37,000 companies have already switched to NetSuite. They've seen the numbers and experienced real profit growth. So by popular demand, NetSuite has extended its one-of-a-kind flexible program for a few more weeks. Head over to netsuite.com slash hammer to get the details. That's netsuite.com slash hammer. Start saving costs and enhancing your business performance today. Thanks again to NetSuite for sponsoring this episode. I mean, I've seen Fair that point. a thousand Fair times. Point. You're right. He also, I mean, he told me that he would finance it so that we what? can. No, 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 no. Like he would use his money to get it completed. So you're taking out a debt from him? No. No. Would he He's, own an equity position yes, in the company? Exactly. Um, or he'd want his money back. He's talking about just getting his money back plus interest. What's special about your coffee? Uh, it's really good. And if you've also, I also make everything from scratch, so yeah. all the syrups. That's um, interesting. Mm -hmm. I tried to do everything completely. Uh, well, you'll be happy to know that brand uh, Noah says this matcha cookie f hard, <laughs> and that the chocolate chip cookie also. They're really good. Used food trucks typically go 74 to 165. New food trucks, 124 to $265,000. I'm assuming everything. I end. mean, that sounds like that's the Plus, fancier ones with grills and fryers and all of that. I wouldn't need any of that. I would literally dude, you need a cargo trailer with the espresso machine. Have you seen how much it costs to like open up a coffee shop, dude? That like the equipment to. Like, I mean, I know the espresso machines alone are like. No, Upwards they're, of they're ten thousand brand new. Really yeah. Ten, twenty thousand. Okay. 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 That's the and then, end and goal. then and then obviously you need city licensings. Mm. We got code things. We got all that shit. then you gotta pay for a place to park. Okay. But um, I I I think know, that's the I, end I, I goal. I wanna start heading into the Okay, it's just Oh, okay. I mean, okay. That can be a goal. I'm just gonna that makes me a little nervous to hear that we're talking about something so expensive when there's so much debt. Mm -hmm. Now, we're about to go into the debt. Um, but I want, I'm going to count three, two, one, go. And on go, I want you guys to give me your household financial score. Your household, you guys, as a family group, you and the three kids, household financial score. Zero being the worst, 10 being the best ever. 10 being the best ever, zero being the worst ever. I want to hear where you guys think you guys are at, self-assessment. So again, it's three, two, one, go, and then I'm gonna, and then you say it on go. Three, two, one. Two. Four. Okay. So you guys maybe, think maybe you're I'm average. generous. I don't know. Well, do you, how, uh, so it sounds myself. like maybe you're the person that kind of oversees a lot of the finances. Are you even aware of the household financial situation? Absolutely, I'm aware. Okay. Is he aware of the household financial situation? I think as much as he wants to be. He's like, the bills are paid, I'm good. I have food. I can go outside and meditate. I'm good. Outside and meditate, okay. All right. Well, the fact that you guys have credit ones, I mean, let's just start there. The fact yes. that we have credit ones and a lot of credit ones, many of the credit ones, essentially indicates we're in finances because that's like the bottom of the barrel. Yeah? Yes. I wasn't aware of that though when yeah, we, I, I got them. I was them. not aware of that. Did it show up in the mail? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the sh open the mail. Interesting. It's okay. the one, like, because it's the one that they, in, instead of giving you a credit line increase, they just open a new card for you. Yep, and then there's fees attached to that new card, and it just $1,476.83. Mm -hmm. uh, $75 minimum payment is what you made to it. Now it's $74. Um, you made $26 of purchases. What is it? What is it? Why are we purchasing on a card that has $35 of interest accruing? $26? Mm -hmm. Is that one of those baby bottles? No, it's... Uh, the Quixie. What is that? An app development service? The Reflexology socks. Oh, nice. It was a Mother's Day gift I got for her. And his mother. Yeah. The Quixie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're like socks that have a thing that tells you Why where... Why in the credit one, though? Uh, Why do you even have this? Because I didn't want her to see it. Or I thought you maybe she would. At, she would have looked. Do. But in my head, I was thinking, you know, off the cusp. And I was thinking, hey, if I put it on the debit card, well, she's going to be asking me questions. I think questions. he was scared that it was but shady fact, and he putting, wasn't going to get them. And then also, on. yes, and then also it was shady. So I didn't want to put my debit card number in. So you're putting in it then, on the shadiest of all the credit cards. Shade to be shade. To be clear, well, let's talk about deserve. This thing's getting obliterated with interest. And you're literally adding to it. So because of that, 
Even though you made a $75 minimum payment, the balance only went down $12. Yep. Whoa. And that's what starts to happen. Four out of ten, I think not. Right way from one financial, one main financial. We owe 739 here and 58 cents. $51 again purchases. We purchased more than the minimum to payment and then the balance went up because we then had $16.14 of interest. Why? $25 minimum monthly payment, but why? Why are we putting more money on it than the minimum? What are we doing? This is two cards in a row now, guys. Uh, I don't know what's on there. You don't even know? I don't remember. What are we doing? Well, I told you I forget my debit card at home a lot. No, you need to chop up your credit cards close to your accounts if you're gonna use a credit card. Use the Fizz card because it's a charge card. So you're forced to pay it off. Michael's and the children's place. Oh, yeah. The daughter, my daughter got, um, she soiled her pants and I had forgotten to pack a change of clothes for her. Uh, how about let's n stop forgetting our debit card and stop forgetting f change of clothes for things that sh diapers. Yeah? I mean, yes, but also I'm not gonna let her walk around with No, of course not. No, of course not. I'm saying prepared. I know. Prepared. That was, oh, you know what? I think that was from, because of uh, the oldest. Remember, he was having that um, that event at school, and that's why, I, like, I didn't want her to look a mess there. Not that it helped, because the middle child ended up throwing up. Oh my hallway. gosh, <laughs> it was a tough day. <laughs> oh, just be glad you don't have kids. I am. Thank <laughs> you. That's what I was thinking. I didn't want to say it because it was. No, you're you, good. We love our kids. They're yeah. amazing. They're mm -hmm. super smart. It's just smart enough to sh their own pants. Well, you know, they haven't been taught yet. And the five-year-old doesn't understand yet. It's okay. So. I have to, have to clean Noah's diaper every day, too. <laughs> hopefully you didn't do something weird to those cookies so he's not obliterating those pants in the post-show. I did not. They are not sugar-free can uh, cookies, I promise. <clears throat> I just don't want her to, like, go out into the public and people be, like, judging me for being a bad mom if she no, has No, of course I get pants. that. Do you usually pack... Always. Spares. Yeah. Typically, Almost yes. Always. Okay, so there we go. That's all I'm saying. So it's like the debit card. We can't like just have like a list on your way out. We're back to credit one. Five hundred twenty-one dollars with the thirty-dollar minimum minimum monthly payment. This was all purchases. Five hundred twenty-six dollars of purchases on the worst card. A hotel stay. Yes. Where'd you guys go? Um, we went to Corpus with our kids. First of all. I've no, was heard. it Corpus? No, it was Port Aransas. Port Aransas. It was Port Aransas. Okay, I don't know. That I one. mean, it's basically just the island just off of Corpus Christi. <laughs> okay. Why, guys? Why? The the, 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 the the spoiled thing in the last one, the gift in the first one, now going on vacation, if we have a goal. Like, okay, I think we could probably have better goals, but I get it. You want to open a food truck? That's fantastic. Cool. We have a goal. We are pushing ourselves so far away from them from building our debts and not even making any progress on them. We're getting further and further away. So what is the point of even having a goal without any action? What are we doing? I I mean, Why so, the f are we going so on I put, a trip? I put it on the credit card. And then my yeah. plan was that once we when we got paid that next week, I was going to pay it off. So and you couldn't afford it. Go to go when you got paid we'd, then. Oh, well, we actually did have the money in the checking account. We just then what? Then what? I just I don't know. I feel on all credit cards, credit one is where we put it. I it's think I was scared. I growing up, what? I wasn't given stuff growing up. I was deprived of things growing up, and, and no so offense, but I you... don't want my children to go through that. But then at the same time, I no want one's to... saying deprived, but you also just can't afford it. Well, you know what? You're depriving them. You're depriving them a future of you guys being able to retire comfortably without them having to give up their own goals because they're going to have to fund you guys because you're choosing to live in debt right now. You know what you're giving up? You're giving up paying for their college because we're choosing to live in debt right now. You're depriving them of that because we want to go on a port, Arkansas, whatever, and one of them might remember, the other one certainly won't, and then one will. But I think he can handle going in like a year or something. I mean, yes, probably, but also like making memories with our kids memories is important is for us. Memories is great. And we can do a lot of memories. A lot of my fond memories when I was a kid is we would go to the fucking, uh, 
we would stop at a hot dog stand, get like fifty cent hot dogs, and then we just go to a park and like throw old bread to ducks. We, we you know, we so you that. killed all the ducks. Oh, uh, we didn't know that at the time, but <laughs> um, yeah, it, duck genocide. It was incredible memories, and when that's cheap, that's not us going on a. We have those dates too. Good, but yeah. we don't have to go on a vacation and spend five hundred twenty-six dollars, and then you got to get food while you're there, and then you're doing attractions most likely. No, we just, we just went to the beach. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, San Antonio, do a day trip to the beach. Drive back in the middle of the night. We've done that, too. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Have we? Yeah. When's the last the time day? we drove to the beach for the day and then or came back go, home? Go to one of the fucking lakes. I know it's more rocky, but... I love camping. Yeah, yeah. and camping she's not, can she's be not a pretty camper. cheap. Well, she's one of those, like, does it have AC kind of thing? <gasps> that's a lie. So. The last time you took me camping, I was eight months pregnant. Yeah, and that's true. I had to sleep in the car. More credit one. This one's only at eight bucks. Oh yeah, we that one. I don't really put anything on. an annual fee because mm -hmm. I would just close it. You're literally losing money, not even having a balance. Because credit one is so. Yeah, we should close it, guys. I need you. I'm sending you guys to our investing program. Just like every guest gets access to you. Or, or sorry, I keep saying the investing one because that's the one that came out. Yes, you'll get that. But I'm talking about the budgeting one, especially for you guys. Um, you guys need to sit down. You need to learn what it actually means to make sacrifices and do budgeting. Take the quizzes together. Sit through it together and actually learn how to budget. Do the investing one as well, but um, obviously we need to get out of debt for you guys first. Okay. Sam's Club. Do we have a Sam's addiction? Yes. A, a grocery addiction? To, we have or the alkaline to, water. To bulk, uh, bulk Buddy, purchases. I've seen people be stupid as f grocery stores. I know. Just because it has a grocery store name doesn't mean. Have you walked into Sam's Club? The whole first section's TVs and phones and computers. Mm -hmm. yes. Like that's not that doesn't make me feel comfortable. I mean, we aren't buying TVs. With, that should not be. Not with, no. Instead, I we're going on balance. vacations when we can't afford it. Well, you know, six hundred seventy-eight dollar balance with the twenty-nine dollar minimum to payment. These are gonna start stacking up. We don't have. We're so blessed to not have overhead, and for our uh, housing situation, other than insurance, yeah. property taxes, but and utilities, but you're just offsetting that by going into debt and just fucking around instead of actually sacrificing and being adults and getting out of it. Sixteen dollars of interest accrued. Luckily, I don't see any purchases. Thank. Thank everyone. No, I think it's on the other one. Oh, good. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Do you find it funny? No. Do you find the debt situation the, funny? Uh, I mean, not as serious as you probably. See Why? It. How? See, that could be dangerous. That could be dangerous, not just for your future, but for the kids' no. future as well. That's dangerous. Uh, dangerous contextually or just dangerous overall or how you remember see what happened when she was out for only just four months mm -hmm. these are minimum monthly payments that are stacking up that are due on a monthly basis mm -hmm. what happens when our income gets stuck in half because an 18 wheeler has a little whoopsie doopsie you know what happens when a kid gets sick you know mm -hmm. what happens when one of them wants to go to college and you're like i don't want them to go into student loan debt what happens if we ever want to retire and i'm glad <laughs> you have some state funds but it's not like they do incredibly well anyway. I mean, I've been in debt. I've been out of debt. And, and now you're just, back in. It's just All process. I care about is where we are. It's just a process. Well, the process has landed you in debt. Yeah, again. Just because you've been out doesn't mean it's good. Right now we're in. In a lot. Oh, this is a car. This is a... F this is like a half a salary car. Yeah. Is the principal balance. What is this one for $31,300? It's... What is this car? Uh, 2021 Toyota Highlander. Yeah. So, it's in our name, but it's his mom's car. Yeah. What? They took yeah. over the payment for us. Not for us. Well, when we so Aren't we they on it at all? No. Okay, no. so you gave it to them. They it was either that or they didn't have a vehicle and they needed a thirty one thousand three. She kind of pulled vehicle? not pulled rank, but she kind of asked us if. You well, know, if they we're going to trade payment, it in and get another car and she was like, hey, can I just make the payment on this one? And because they couldn't they wouldn't have been able to be approved yeah. to get a car. Well, if they weren't able to be approved. So we how were, risky is it to rel for your credit yeah. is relying on them making a six hundred and twenty five dollar minimum monthly payment. It's actually just as risky as her not having a vehicle. Seven hundred fifty. Yeah. What? Just as risky as her not having a vehicle. What? And like not to your credit and picking up the kids. Still working. Well, it's not risk. 
that's not. I think right. he's saying like if he if she didn't have a car, they wouldn't have been able to get like because sometimes they'll pick up our kids like if they're sick and mm. stuff from daycare or I from got school. That, but even an Uber a few times a month is cheaper than this. Mm. Yeah. No, a hundred percent. Seven hundred fifty dollars a month. We live in the middle of nowhere. I don't know how. You guys said San Antonio. Are. We're like on the outskirts. We're we're in a smaller city outside San Antonio. Okay. Well, I still promise you, you can get an Uber. Just Probably. might take a little longer. Mm. Either way, that's not even the main thing here. All I'm saying is, there is a big risk that this is in your guys' name now, still, and you have to rely on them for a minute. What's their income situation? Um, his stepdad is uh, disabled, mm -hmm. and okay. um, he has SSI, but plus uh, long-term disability. Okay. And then my mother-in-law uh, works at a bank. She does wires, yeah. I think. Okay. Yeah, wires. yeah, she makes the ball. Doesn't sound 60. like the okay. So we're relying on a lot, and now they live with you guys, right? Mm -hmm. They, okay. yes, we kind of moved into with them. They asked us to take. We're gonna. Over. We're gonna. Do our own thing, but yes, yeah. Do you guys want to move out? I think I would more than him. I don't think I would want to. I grew up there. Well, that's um, the split. <laughs> what, has, what, what, what do we has, do when one person doesn't want to be there and one does? Uh, I guess it depends on how much you don't want to be there versus I, how much I want to be there. I think that's a, that's <laughs> I a deal with it. It's, I mean, it's fine, but um, she had asked him to, for us to move in and put him on the property because she was in the rears and they were filing a lawsuit to take the property yeah. and her dad built it in the seventies. When did you guys move in? And when did you move in? Cause you moved in before me, 14? Mm -hmm. 2014 13. and then i moved i mean in. I, I left obviously and then um, he came back was working downtown had my own spot for a minute she did my adult thing but then she lured me back i, I think she added back him in, back she asked me to come back i think okay. she added him back in 2000 or added him onto the deed in 2018 oh you're on the deed yes okay and, but it's a valued out do we know yes ish what so we have property with the house that's worth about three hundred and twenty-five thousand. And then we have two other pieces of the property that's attached to it that's worth about two other pieces 75. of property. You mean houses? Land. 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 Okay. Or seventy five? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, seven hundred fifty dollar payment in the hand of others. That one makes an okay income. And okay. So it's a little risky. Yeah. Uh, it's actually very risky. It's we getting a little more risky because his mom is actually out right now on short term because she can't walk because of her knee. Yeah, as of a week but ago. But she, uh, she has, I mean, she has insurance. That's why she has it. And she can work from home technically. She just has to get them up to approve it because she works with high risk. What's the interest rate on this? 11. Okay. I'm pretty, yeah. Are you guys prepared to make a payment when she can't? I mean, when and if, if we we've we we've will. been waiting monthly, yeah. we've been like, hey, whenever she drops the ball, we have to pick it up. Okay. So, okay. Thankfully, she hasn't yet. Yeah. But are you financing a car for someone else, especially someone that might not be able to make the payment? Make sure you apply to be on the show. Calebhammer slash apply. We'll talk about it. Event. 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 Oh, jeez. Interest charging 40 bucks. Oh, I thought this was purchase. Oh, it is! It's $85, 54 cents of purchases. More than the minimum to payment, of course. I don't remember using that card. $1,569. How do you not feel oh. this is bad? 13 lines of credit, if I'm not mistaken. 13 lines of credit, and you don't think that's bad? You don't find that to be stressful? I don't find that. Probably because you know, you're not be the good. one looking at it. I mean, I'm, I mean, my emotional state's more important than, you know, me feeling bad because of something that, um, short term at least, I can't really impact. That doesn't make sense. How can you not impact it? You have short term. That it, no, that doesn't make any sense. You have control of your income. You have control no. over. But do I have the money to pay everything off in one month? I don't. You mean short term that way? Not even yeah. like six months? Do I have the power to pay it off in six months? I don't know. Maybe. But I'm thinking month to month. Is it ignorance month. is bliss type of situation? Um, I mean, in part. But the other part is um, I'm more valuable than the debt that's there. So 
it's the game and I got to play it. So I'm not going to. Game? But what you, you're, you're losing the game. We're in debt. Depends on your definition of losing. Well, you know. your net worth is going down because of the debt. So you're losing that game. Sure. Capitalism. I mean, yeah, that's, that's the game. I mean, the deed is good. I'm glad you got that. Yeah. Wasn't of your own doing, of course, uh, but it's still my right. It wasn't of my sure. doing, but it's well, my right. right because someone else chose it to be. But yeah, um, I don't know. That this is it's concerning that you don't find it concerning. I mean, I find and it concerning, think, but not enough to yelp about it or just yelp kind of about it. Get you know emotionally distraught. How does it not emotionally distraught you though? Because that's that's kind of wild. I mean, it depends on your outlook of you know. It's how I perceive money, the value of money in this hyper uh, inflationary time. Hyperinflationary little... time, inflation's three point five percent. Yeah. Hyperinflation's like fifty percent. I mean, we can manipulate inflation, but bottom line is costs a lot more to live. It's gonna so... cost more every single year. If you don't take control of your debt, you're just gonna make it worse for yourself. Yeah, but I'm not gonna be in a bad mood while that's happening. While, while I'm making the payments, mood. be like, I'm so much in debt. That's not making the me. payments, buddy. We're ba- we're only making the minimums, and we're only putting more on them. Yeah. That's what that kind of mindset no, gets to. Yeah. I'm not I'm not saying sit there, cut yourself because yeah. of it, but actually put in the work, understand the situation. If you don't know the situation, you don't know how dire it is and the consequences that can come with it. I can put in the work necessary, and guess what? We haven't put in the work necessary. So it sounds like we're losing the game. Sure, that could be a way to look at it. Are you so lax about everything else, every other concern, every other problem that pops up? Depends on your definition of lax. I don't know. Well, the way you are with that, putting your head in the sand. I mean, I, no, I see good. I see everything, you know, the good and bad of everything. What's the good of this? Uh, I get to live. I get to eat. Because of debt? No, sometimes that's how it goes. Sometimes I have to be in debt to what do a, the things I want to do. What about the power of your income? You guys make over six figures. We do. Why would you need debt? Why would I need debt if I make Other than six property. figures? It's a, it's a, it's a tool. It's a tool to use. We're, in, we're not using so it as well as tool. we can. At 30%, that's not, a tool? Not a good tool. No, that's not a tool. Yeah. That's a hammer bashing your head yeah. in. Yeah, you, you made me aware of that. Yeah. For sure. Okay. So $54 minimum with the payment on this one. Again, these are stacking, stacking, stacking all day. Went to a clothing store, apothology <laughs> and anthropology. Yeah, which is, I will say, I didn't buy clothes. Oh, what well, did you get? Little bowls, little fancy bowls, cups. Yeah, little fancy cups. Because coffee, that's more important than paint. Because I that. make coffee videos and coffee videos. I yeah. yes, I make coffee videos making coffee, and I left my debit card at home. I was with my nieces. Coffee videos making coffee. That's. <laughs> I, I so, hope so they're like those glass cups that have like little charms around them and they're super cute to make videos with and they i don't know i like them although my son decided to break one of them but you know which one which which, which son or Is which there cup? only one son no there, I don't know there's the two the them. oldest well, i only have the youngest is a girl that's it naughty naughty she's crazy yeah i don't think we're buying uh, overly expensive little cups when we are literally the balance of this debt went up again we're is there any debt we've seen progress made on so far no you said the one went down twelve dollars it was something oh God. what am i doing okay and then dave's hot chicken because again that fifty dollars is more important than getting out of debt and getting to the one goal we have hope we can sit down and define our goals a little better but and this one's at this one's at thirty one point two four percent interest. That's that's wild. That is insane. I don't even know if I've seen that on a credit card. Capital One. At least we got to a normal card. I've had that one since I was like, oh, I'm sure. Eighteen. It's a classic. Intro. I think it was my first one. Yeah. Balance seven hundred forty. It's gonna take forever to go through. Oh my gosh, this pile is so thick. This is a thick pile. Twenty five dollar minimum monthly payment. Oh my, kill me now. More purchases, $8.53 with interest of $8.22. Oh, Guess what, guys? The balance shocking. Believe it or not, it's only like behaviors being demonstrated on every single card so far, but the balance went up. Consolidation was a bad move for you guys because you guys don't know how to manage that. I would close down your credit cards. I would close the accounts. Like, close them and burn the cards. Because you, you guys just can't manage it. You just You don't have the discipline to manage it. 
It was for a Wi-Fi data service for your car? It's the, the OnStar. OnStar. Okay. It's like the to the Toyota, like, mm -hmm. whatever. You can, like, see all this stuff and start your car from the app. From the app. Like remote start. You can't do that with your remote? Mm -hmm. So you have to pay a subscription for that? And it's like... Not it's even like a Tesla package. that loves subscriptions makes you pay for a subscription to start your It's like a package. AC. You can like see the car, you can unlock it and then start it and and on star and all that. Being able to see our car in an app is worth not getting out of debt. You know, I forgot it was on that credit card. Would it matter? I Still mean, a bill that could be going towards that. That's I mean, that's true. I think I just because it was only eight dollars. I don't think about it in terms solar. of solar. We have a solar loan. Yeah, that's an estimate of how much we owe. So they switched companies and I don't have access to the account. It just comes out automatically, the payment. It's like- What's it's the payment? 360. These minimums. I think that one's a good interest rate though, because your grandpa's co-signed for it, right? Well, it's considered a good interest rate. I think it's less than 5%. I, but I don't know. I know it's for 25 years. That's all I know. Man, and I'm- I'm not opposed to solar either because I mean, what is it? It's like a decade. It, it breaks even in like a decade. And obviously this property has been in the family for a bit. And it sounds like we definitely have attachment. To, I'm assuming it's on the one you guys live in, right? Mm -hmm. It's not always the worst thing. The one thing that just really sucks about solar is just every time you get solar, just next year, a much better version of solar comes yes. out. So Probably. Just, yes. It has. The, so the, the thing that helps us with, because we have solar is that um, we don't have central AC in our house. Mm. So everybody runs on window units. Mm -hmm. So in the summertime, our bill could be upwards of seven, eight, nine hundred dollars yeah, if we didn't have solar. You'll be surprised to hear this, but I've actually had quite a few people on that on the show that have had solar and that 5% is actually one of the higher ones I've seen. Because <laughs> for some of reason- Of the interest, I don't think, I think it's less than, I don't know exactly, but yeah. I'm pretty sure it's less than I five. I see like two, I don't. Three. I don't even have access to. I tried to figure well, it out, but I couldn't. Either way, it is another minimum monthly payment. Yeah, and the thing that a lot triggered, of solar can be picked up and taken to a new place, though. If you guys do get another place, we tri the reason it triggered us getting it is right before I moved in. We he there was a our electricity bill was like seven hundred dollars, and he forgot to make the payment, and it um, turned off our electricity. And then there was a re reconnection fee and stuff. So when I moved in, Why I- Why don't you guys have auto payments? He didn't do it back then. I set up auto payment for most no. things. I mean- He would just go in and pay it. Cause at the time he was working for tips. So he'd have to go in and pay cash. How are you guys deciding how and when things get paid? It's um, just like, and like who manages and- Oh, I pay seems everything. seems like a mess. Okay, so you've taken control? I pay everything. Okay, it's the, okay. I go in Democratic and I, Republic of Lily. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Which might be need to be how it is to make sure we don't miss payments. But I also want to just make sure you're aware of everything and that the goals were fully aligned on and we know what's happening, especially since you have the ability to spend as well, of course. Destiny. Second time I've seen this card. Uh, $214. 58 cents. I don't think I used it. Balance actually went down. Yay. We had interest charge of seven dollars and ten cents. Minimum monthly payment was made. It's forty bucks. We didn't have any purchases. Probably because we lost the card or something. <laughs> no, I have that. <gasps> we are basically halfway through the year, and I need to make sure you guys are saving your money in the right place. In my resources section in the description below, you can sign up for one of the best high yield savings accounts there are, but you can also get $300 for free with qualifying deposits. You can also get FDIC insurance up to $2 million on your money and get 4.6% on the money that's just sitting there. It's exactly where I put my money. Why let your money lose money when it could be making money? It's the biggest no brainer in the world. Open up a SoFi high yield savings account now and get that $300 for free. <gasps> no it's a 35.9 percent interest rate that's the highest i've ever seen on a credit card and i thought you guys already passed that i've never seen that 35.9 percent i remember when we were at 25 just like two years ago i was like aren't most credit cards like the in the 30s unless you get like that special introductory well, no, one because you have perfect credit the bad ones are like 29.99 apparently not 
Well, yeah, apparently it just didn't get as bad. Oh, here we go. We're back to just being stupid. Yeah, that's a normal what? one. What? This is a normal credit card. It's not abnormal. Yeah, but you went and purchased again. Did I? Yes. How do you? I don't rem I'm telling you, a lot of times I just grab a card. Month. Then I'm like, oh, I don't no, think this one has a big okay, balance. Okay. Okay. You know what that tells us? That means that we can't have the cards. You just can't have them. Yeah, you can't have them. Yeah. No. I should probably put them in the safe. No. But then you if I my debit card, accounts. I can't get gas. Oh, then f you're stranded and you deserve it. Have oh. a checklist when you leave your house or just keep it in your purse at all times. What? Your pocket. Like, I don't care. Put it on the back of your phone. That's how I forget it. I put it in my pocket and then I don't wear back those phone. pants. Back of phone. Back of phone. Had Maglock. Mm, I don't like those. I don't care. I'd rather you not like it than be stranded. $226.55, $21 of purchases, $5 of interest, minimum monthly payment, $35. We're stacking. I, I don't know whose credit this is, but 623 is not a good score. That's mine. You know your credit score? It's, it's about the same. It's, I think it's about the same, yeah. yeah. It's the income oh, to, see, it was HEB. The income to debt ratio. What? It was still purchased on a card that's accruing interest and has a minimum monthly payment. You are f***ing with the minimum monthly payment and the interest is accruing at 27.24%. It could be on a debit card where no interest is accruing. I actually think that was gas. Either way. Anyway. Doesn't matter. It's still purchased, whether it be necessary or not. Mm. Was that a card that you're not paying off? You're gonna hate that I'm gonna say this, but oh, then why? Okay. <laughs> do you want to know why I put gas on that card? Why do you put gas on that card? Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I'm gonna say? Go ahead. It gave me five percent cash back. Okay. That's why I did it. Tell me why that's wrong. Because it's because I pay more in interest, but yeah, how much more? I have like how much more? Too much. How much? I don't more? know. What's the interest on it? 20, you pay twenty-two percent more. You got five percent. Yes. Then there's an additional twenty-two because it's a twenty-seven. Yes. So does that make sense? Probably not. Probably not. How is it probably? How are we at the word probably? Probably. What's a bigger number, five or twenty-seven? Math teacher. <laughs> Well, my kids will try to uh, argue that five was more than 27, but that's another And story. would they be right? Obviously not. Okay. Fortiva credit card? Okay, so we just found every credit card that existed. I've never heard of this one. They sent it in the mail, too. Oh, great. 794. I'm just going to start sending people. If, if this... If this if, if it's just about making money, if that's just what it is, apparently the business to get into is like... Here, I have this high interest rate debt. Let me just send it to random doors and people will just take it out and max it out, basically. Now you're halfway. <laughs> Maybe I'm grumpy because I can't have cookies, but. <laughs> you can have the cookies. <laughs> you just have to say yes. No, 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 no. They're self -control, delicious. Self-control, guys. But it's green tea. They're good, they're good for you. No. Yep. And it has caffeine because of the matcha. Your boy is single. Two, 200 grand. Your boy no is cookies. single. And I already have a disadvantage of being below six foot. Yeah, that's overrated. Well, tell the tell the right and life, left swipers. Really, the only thing I have control on right now is weight. So we are not eating cookies. Seven hundred ninety-four dollars seventy-six cents. Sixty dollars minimum monthly payment. Fees. Twelve dollars fifty cents of fees. Oh, it's a maintenance fee. Yeah. Of course, this card just makes so money off, so much money off of you. Twenty-three dollars seventeen cents of min uh, interest charge. Great. Then you made the minimum, but at least you didn't purchase. Cause think, think, think everything in the world. I think he has one too. <gasps> it's at thirty-four point four nine. I don't know how you guys found these magical cards. <laughs> <laughs> almost impressive almost impressive doorstep. almost uh. impressive oh my gosh we're still going through it is 48 minutes into this and i am still going through debt what are we one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven this is 12 merrick bank yeah okay 675 dollars and 22 cents you know what the fact is a lot of these balances are under a thousand dollars so your question See, of, they're not maxed so out just, what <laughs> So your question of can I pay these off in the next month? Yeah, a lot of these you could. Yeah. yeah Noah right. just ran to the bathroom. I think he's taking a shit from the <laughs> matcha. No, he's not. Our emergency liquid. Fifty-one dollars and eighty-eight cents of purchases. When interest is charging, we're doing it again. We're just oh. constantly doing it. We're just ruining 
everything. Bill Miller Barbecue, because that was more important. Rush Fun Park, because that was more important. Because fun is more important. It was Fun is more important. It was a birthday party. Oh, good. Oh, good. Happy birthday. I'm going to get out of debt. How about that? Now I'll get you better gifts in the future. Well, it wasn't our children's birthday party. We had to take our son to a birthday party. And we had to pay Sorry, for the kid, younger ones. No gifts ones. for you. I'm trying to pay my debt off. Wait. We took our oldest to a birthday party. We had to pay for the two younger ones to, to get enter in? the park. Yeah. yeah. It's the only thing I would be okay with. Okay. Not going to deprive the a kid 11 year old to their friend, their friend at school and yeah. stuff like that. We have a we have a thing called the TP fund that I'm putting in your budget, and that's where little things like that go. We try to Bill Miller barbecue. Absolutely not. You're right, but absolutely it's the closest not. thing to our school. I don't give a sh. What the f does that mean? You know the closest thing to you when you wake up? The refrigerator. Get some lunch meat. Put it between some bread. <laughs> I I agree. Another Sam's Club. I told you we had two. We're fans. They're fans of you. Trust me. They're making that money. Because they charge twelve dollars seventy one cents interest on you. You made a minimum monthly payment and you didn't purchase anything. Thank you. Oh, I didn't. Yay. Sometimes when I purchase like for delivery, it like automatically charges the card. Guys, we shouldn't. That's not something we should be My hey. surprised or clapping about. Oh, another car. <gasps> the minimum monthly payment's a thousand ninety four ninety five dollars. Mm -hmm. Yes. What did we get? It's a minivan, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Oh, I didn't know those still existed. It um, was really hard to find this one, which yeah. is why we had to. Uh, so we had the Sienna. The Sienna is the one that we got into the accident with and it got totaled. This? No, not this one. This is oh, the new it one. It was a red one. Um, How did the insurance work for that? Did you get it? Did they, it pay off the remaining? They Yes, it paid off the remaining. Yeah. But in what? November, we had gotten a Prius. Didn't work for our family. Um, Why'd you get the Prius then? I tried to convince her to get the van, but I think she was emotionally distraught with the accident. And she was thinking, so hey, this is different. We're going to save money with uh, getting better gas mileage. It was an electric Prius. So it was. I thought they all were. I, I don't know. I the majority of hybrids. them are hybrids, but this was a prime plug in. So it did partially gas, but partially electric. So I got like 75 yeah. miles a gallon. Sure. And then the payment was lower. But um, three kids in the backseat of a Prius is not probably not not considering my child being five three and one hundred and sixty pounds. So okay. it was hard. Five three isn't that tall. No, but one hundred and sixty pounds between a car seat and a booster seat doesn't like, work. Yeah, yeah send them to work. the fun park some more. Uh, yeah, bounce around. So we ended no up no more cookies. We ended he needs up, to be on the Caleb Hammer lifestyle. Yeah, he likes those cookies. <laughs> he got mad because I wouldn't let him eat any of them. <laughs> yeah, let's keep um, that up. So we recently traded it in to get this one. Yeah. Um, oh, gosh. Wait, did you have to exchange some of the loan balance into this rollover? J not a ton, not a lot, but yes. But you did have to. Yes. A uh, couple, oh, couple thousand. Um, First of all, I did not grow up wealthy by any means, lower middle class for the vast majority of my life. Luckily, my youngest brother, who's uh, going into high school soon, you know, whoops, babies, yes, that's what happens, <laughs> uh, uh, lives a better lifestyle now because uh, my parents ended up making some good choices. But when we were poor, dude, and they just had a beater ass sedan and all three of us, yeah, we sat in the back. I know it's called literally just not being able to afford things and you I, guys can't this is insane i will say being in this in the van makes us feel more secure in like we were in the sienna when we got yeah. into the accident yeah and so being in this one now we feel safe like the 18 wheeler hit me sure. dead like my door my daughter was in the seat behind me mm. and it ended up nobody else got hurt but me sure i had to have a plates put into my collarbone. Really? So. Wow. But that was the only thing that happened when if yeah. we if were in anything the, else, we would have died. If you look probably. at the pictures, I mean, it was completely totaled. So us emerging alive is a miracle. I wasn't even a fan of the Sienna until after the accident. Then I realized, holy cow, if we can survive the 18 wheeler, I feel pretty safe. So I'm happy to be yeah. back in a Sienna. Safety is great. It's, uh, I, I don't know about the Prius. I mean, they all have their different safety ratings. You can look into it. And yes, 
taller up technically can help with some things as far as I understand, but so, so it's not like other cars are just magically dangerous either. No, but these have roll cages. Yeah, these are like tanks. So like if you accident. imagine like a race car, how they have how those it? bars, that's how it protects you. Okay, what what's the balance of this? 48,000. We just got it. Yeah. How many months? Uh, mm -hmm. 75. You're not gonna like the interest rate either. What is it? That's 18. Yeah, that's 18. No, are you f my life? No. What are you doing? What are you guys doing to your future, guys? Well, how could you sign this? At eight, how could you see the number 18 and sign it? At 70 whatever months with that minimum monthly payment. You guys are lucky you don't have a mortgage. Oh, that was kind of our reasoning. Was that's a bad reason. We, I mean, we can that afford gives you, it. That gives you opportunity. That doesn't mean f up more. You're right, but we can't afford it. No. It's just... Guys, the car's worth 31550 Well, isn't aren't they all always upside down like the first year? Uh, Yeah, but not, that's a substantial drop. That's a substantial drop. <sighs> okay, well. What is that, $17,000? Yeah. Did I math that right? I will say the Prius was upside down 14. They ended up only needing to roll over. Th Did you put nothing down? Mm-mm. For the Prius, we no. put twenty five hundred down for this one. Those salespeople made their commission. Oh, let me tell you, this car's that's insane. A target card. We really have every debt possible. Yeah, we have a lot. Two hundred seventy one dollars and fifty cents. Minimum monthly payment twenty nine dollars. $74 of purchases. It's still happening with $5.18 of interest. You purchased more than you made on the minimum monthly. So, shocker, we didn't make any progress. Who would have thought? I think we bought yeah. diapers. Okay, but on a card that is accruing interest that you're unable to pay off. Yes. Again, no one's saying don't buy diapers. It's how you're doing it. That's the consolidation loan. Oh, the consolidation loan still exists, and then we built up all the other debts anyway? Yes. Oh, f this is... It's almost, I think it's almost paid off. If I f hope so. Just can't believe you. Girl, you know math. They do. What? This this math isn't math and none of these interest rates. I, it's just, this is so bad. And then you don't even think it's bad. So I don't, this is, this is like, oh, this is wild. I mean, I think it's enough to where we need to change our behavior. We need to. We need to figure out what we're doing, but I mean, I'm not going to cry over spilt milk. It's not about crying, buddy. It's about putting effort in. No effort's being put in. And to oh. paying off the debt, maybe, but into making sure my family can, you know, have get fun. what they need, flourish, no. have good we don't experiences. Talk about needs. There it is. Fun. Mm -hmm. Wants. For me, experiences trump money. Trump their college fund. Trump your retirement. Trump those Other are all those, those are all hypotheticals we can navigate as we move along but that's not how that's not how retirement works my dude retirement is not a hypothetical retirement something that needs to compound over decades in order to be able to have the retirement necessary it's not a hypothetical ask yeah. the math teacher yeah for sure i mean we can save we can save several we, we do what we can. we've saved okay. large amounts we just always Some conversations are going to need to happen here behind the scenes because that i mean that mindset's not going to get us anywhere Financially speaking, the world is not just about finances. This is a finance show. But what 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 do we have in retirement? Do we know? Uh, I think I have seventeen, and he has twenty one. Because we just became te like yeah. I've been teaching. This was my fourth year, and this was his fifth. Twenty one is what I would want someone to have at about uh, twenty seven. Yeah. To make sure it has time to grow. Forty, you have. Two, two decades left for compound growth and tax advantage outside of work accounts before you can withdraw without any accruing any penalties. Two decades. Two decades. We want to usually utilize at least three and a half decades of compound growth. So we're just very behind, very dramatically behind. What's the balance on this? 7,000. How much? 7,000. Okay, that's the, almost, that's the almost done. What's the interest rate? I think it's like it's consolidation, so it's, yeah, probably, it's probably like great. 25, 26. Oh, f yeah. Minimum monthly payment $463.42. Yeah. 
Avant. 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 It's the property taxes. Oh. Property taxes over the course of what? The, right now it's just two years, but when we took over, it was behind like over 20,000. That's why they put oh him on the, on the deed so that we would pay the taxes. Okay, so they had put in a lawsuit. There, they were trying to take the house. There from is her. more overhead. Mm-hmm. Okay, so ten thousand. Do you have like a minimum monthly payment agreed on? We actually like- don't because his stepdad is um, disabled. Mm-hmm. It it is deferred. We pay. So we don't. A we technically we pay. It's deferred is there interest on it though? No. No. You know? They okay. they stop all fees and stuff when you're considered disabled. They won't ever take the house from us, but if he passes away, they could put in another lawsuit. And what are you going to do when that situation We're trying to happens? pay it off. Because time bef- does happen. No, mm-hmm. for sure. Um, we're mm-hmm. trying to pay it off beforehand so that okay, we don't so get Okay, so we are into, trying to make yes. payments. Yeah. Okay. We still make payments on it. We pay 500 a month on it. 500 a month on it. Yeah, losing the house is the last thing we would want to happen. You, you guys are given such a blessing of a situation. I don't think you guys are really, you're really throwing everything away because, oh, I think that was, was that the end of the deaths? I think so. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Given the opportunity, blessing of a lifetime that people would kill for, and we've took out 17. Well, you didn't take out the property taxes. Took out 16 debts. Wait, no, I heard rumors of student loans before we sat down. Oh, yes, we have student loans. I think I sent them. I sent mine. Uh, How much do you owe? 93,000. Oh, f- me, no. It's my bachelor's and my master's. Are you kidding? You have a... Mm-hmm. They're all government? Yes. Oh, okay. Are you doing any public student loan forgiveness? Yes. Where are you in that process? Uh, next year, I can apply for the five-year. Okay. And then they have 10-year. What's your minimum monthly? I don't have any minimum monthly. And you? I think I'm 50 for my bachelor's. And where are you on public student loan forgiveness? He can apply, uh, can apply this year. This year. This is my first year I could apply. I think the five year takes like seventeen thousand off of it or something like that. I could be wrong though. So how much you got how much do you think well, let's forget the student loans because you guys are in an opportunity where some might be gone. But uh how much do you think? Because you're more nonchalant about it. How much you got how much do you think you're in debt? How much do you guys think you're in debt? Mm. Um, with, not, with just taking away the student loans, taking away the student loans. Not factoring in the student loans? Not factoring in the student loans. I mean, cars alone were over 70. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, 120 to 150. Wow. That's what I'm going to guess. And we really feel relaxed about that. Do, you know, that's a mortgage, right? Yep. <laughs> that's a mortgage and it's literally all on bad debt. And then that's not even talking about the student loans. You're pretty close. $135,800 and 29 cents. None of it's good debt. And we don't seem to care about it. Okay. And if that was just 100, 123000 If I went and I purchased $123,000 in like the S&P 500 in, in Moomoo or whatever, you know, whatever the preferred investing platform, uh, $123, I got some SPY. Just its average return on a yearly basis. I mean, I don't really have to do the actual math on that. You'd gain $12,300. $12,300. But instead, it's sitting all in bad debt. That's, again, another reason why that's urgent, because that's uh, half of what you have in retirement, essentially, is what could be gaining on a yearly basis just from that. Okay. Checking account, $856 in here. An Apple bill. Amazon. Amazon. Subway. At least eat food. Gross. When do we put a solar? Ah, there's your solar mm-hmm. loan. Mm-hmm. More Apple payments, bills, in app. Who knows what it is? Amazon, Amazon. Bill Miller Barbecue, shocker. More in app. Apple, $21.64. Amazon, Coca Cola, oh, vending machine. Going inside a gas station, getting some bullshit. Amazon, Amazon. PlayStation? No, play. Yeah. It's yeah. PlayStation. It's our son's. <laughs> Going inside, getting some absolute bullshit. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. More Apple. Wait, no. Appliance technology. Something. Con appliance technology. $169. It's our washer and dryer. You got the balance for our washer and dryer. What, what, what do you mean? Is it a debt? Is it rented? No, it's a, like the rent to own. Rent to own. Mm-hmm. 
Well, at least it's to own. How much is left? Mm, less than a thousand. I think it's There's like, more debt. I think it's like nine hundred. There's more debt. I have to ask you, just based on this conversation, and don't be insulted, or do I don't give. Do you feel alone in this? Um, I think sometimes, but I like numbers. Obviously, I teach math. I know, but if one person cares about it, how are we doing the effort of the household? I kind of just let them know, like, hey, we need to tighten it up. We need to not do so much. Do I not? Well, obviously, that I tell has them all the time. Worked. I know, but Have then you, I feel bad. Lines. I feel bad. I become guilty. Like I'm. Do you not, guilt tripper? Not. I don't think they do yeah. it on purpose. I think it's just me and being a mom and wanting yeah. my family to be happy. And I love that. I I love it. It's <clears throat> great. But again, this is this, <clears throat> this is goals. It's a very sad moment, and we've seen it happen on the show from the parent side a couple times now, where people get to the age of retirement and they literally have nothing because they never sacrificed and they're just around and then their kids have to put their lives on hold to fund their parents' retirement because they're not, no one's going to let their parents die under a bridge and go hungry. Oh, my oldest thinks but he's going to live with us forever. He's well, like, I'm never moving he's out. He's 11. He'll figure it out. <laughs> like, I don't know. That, that dude will see a one day and he, he's going to oh fucking God. like... He's going to freak out. It's going to change his life. He'll move out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Sorry, he, I'm not going to. Got to save that for the, <laughs> I got to save that, that kind of talk for the post show. <laughs> Sorry, regular audience. <laughs> for the inappropriate talk. Uh, Texas Best. Oh, Texas Best is a gas station. A gas station. Yeah, he went inside and got some bowl. $3. How much? He's got a drink. Probably. Something. Or Chili's, it was my ice. Amazon. Printfully. Huh? Printfully? Printify. Printify. Half the letters are kind of cut off for me. Printify? Well, we spent 68 bucks there. I kind of wish we knew what that was. Bill Miller Barbecue. Going inside a gas station, getting some bullshit. Sweet green. It's expensive. It's Amazon. Good, it's okay. Uh, child care, is that right, Will? Yes. Okay. Child care. Obviously, that's fair. You're paying for an AI assistant? Lucy, why? Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, the, no, I had purchased a jumpsuit and um, it got refunded back. Like a, an outfit. Close. You, it's Lucy and Yak. Oh, okay. Printify is a drop shipping custom merch store. <gasps> oh, it's, this is a shirt. It's I it. deserve a treat. At least once a day. No, you don't. Who the f does you deserve a treat? No, you're not entitled to anything. Clean up your sh and you can afford to get a treat. I will that? say most of the time I make the treat myself. That's good. <laughs> That's good. That's a more affordable way to do it. Doesn't mean we can always afford it still, but either way. Sonic, more in-app Apple, $14. Going to gas station, getting some bullshit. Going to gas station, getting some bullshit. We're constantly doing Are that. We're obsessed with that. Apple? I don't think so. Oh, you guys need to look at your Apple transactions then mm. because... We're close to like 100 bucks now. Bill Miller Barbecue. We eat at Bill Miller's a lot. Yeah. Uh, I don't like it. Who would have thought? What the f are we doing? What's so good about Bill Miller? Wait, uh, our school is the middle of nowhere, and it's the closest thing we can. You guys work at the same school? Yes. yes. Wow. He teaches eighth. I teach seventh. Romantic. Uh, <laughs> we teach in different departments, so we don't see each other very often. Yeah. But the point is, uh, we got 30 minutes typically, and if we forget to bring food, we only have Bill Miller. No, we're forgetting. We're forgetting. We walk outside of our house forgetting things all the time. I don't know about forgetting time. to bring food. It's either we, because we cook for everybody in the house, so nine people. And so if we don't have leftovers, I can't pack. The school doesn't serve food that you can have? It's disgusting. And it's $6. That's less expensive than Bill Miller. By a few Bill. bucks. But, I mean, the quality uh, half. <laughs> quality is... Uh, it's I wouldn't even call the food. So half the time the students don't eat it, Yikes. and they get it for free. Glad I didn't go to Texas schools. Yeah, it's we're not glad that good. you didn't either. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. I was like, is Michigan any better? <laughs> well, they teach you to put condoms on. Nice. nice. <laughs> Amazon going inside a gas station, getting some bullshit. McDonald's, Bill Miller Barbecue, Taco Cabana, going to a gas station, getting some bullshit. Going to a gas station, getting some bullshit. We do this daily. How do you Amazon, know Amazon, going to the gas small? station, getting some bullshit. Yes. We're not counting gas. Okay. We know the difference between gas and well, not. Well, in the Prius, gas. Oh, I didn't have also a Also, when it says inside as well. And I don't think you're requesting specifically $16.61 of gas. Yeah, probably. W, uh, NWS. Um, isn't that a 
Yes. $58. Coca-Cola, a uh, vending machine. It's going to gas station, getting some bullshit. Amazon, going to gas station, getting some bullshit. Amazon. Rocket Money Premium. Okay, use it. <laughs> I, I think that was the first. Text payment. best, text best. Bill Miller Barbecue, text best. Old Navy. Sometimes we do have to get some things. I don't know. Sometimes it's a want. Some Kids grow out of clothes so fast. Yeah. Like, and my daughter cheap. is not even two, and she wears 4T. So she's gone through zero to three months all the way to 4T in less than two years. I'm happy. I don't know what that means, but. Four toddler. Oh, she's okay. two. Hmm. Wendy's. Yeah. Yeah. Old Navy is a pretty affordable way to go about it. As far as, like, buying, like, actual new clothes goes. Wendy's. Shisha Cafe? Shisha. Amazon. Oh, I thought he was going to say something. Going inside, getting some bullshit. McDonald's. Rush Fun Park. Again. Pizza Classics. Mm. Nails. Getting our nails did. Make him do your nails. Spotify. <laughs> bubble Bath. Car Wash. Come on. We have to car wash our stupid thousand hour minimum Wait, payment? I don't well, think Well, no. So. Is that- Nespresso. I thought you liked coffee. I do. I have an espresso machine and an espresso machine. Okay, well, let's not be lazy about it. So our my my brother in law gives me cash, and I order the pods for him so he can make coffee. Oh, because they live there. That's right. Amazon. Oh, f- that was so much spending. That was absolutely ridiculous. Is the kid in there an iPad kid? Mm, I guess kind of. Could he be buying things? Because there's a lot of no. Again, he a lot did of Apple do that. Things, though. He did do that as like. A few years ago, he had racked up like five hundred dollars in Apple yeah. payments, and we had to like have that talk with him. He's pretty good about asking, but I don't know. Come I don't. On, we might want to check. Yeah, probably, but I don't think is the card attached. Mm, it is the debit card is attached to his. Uh... Oh, f- guys, <laughs> but, <laughs> we well, should probably like... check. Yeah, <clears throat> he's more of an iPhone kid now. Because he has his own phone. No, oh, sure, I got you. Amazon. Wow, own phone at eleven. Time has times have changed. I will. That's say- not a negative or positive thing. I don't know. Because I just don't know. It's just, it's wild. Well, he's had a phone forever because my in laws. But um, I don't know if that had the savings accounts. We do have money in savings. Which is your guys' like phone bill? I, I'm uh, betting these phones are fine. Two hundred and seventy dollars, but it's six lines. Six lines. You can get 20 bucks per line, though, with helium. What's that? $120. Oh, yeah. yeah. I would rather do that. <laughs> would helium work for us at the school? I don't school? know. Because that's the only we service We have AT&T that because works. it's the only uh, it service that works the, at the it school. It uses the same towers as, as AT&T? AT&T. We can double check. Oh, that's okay. be, we, nice. We'll double check that'd for you nice. to make sure. Because really nice. maybe it's like Verizon or something, but we'll double check. Yeah, we used to have a Verizon, but they... Uh, it didn't. It never worked. And so when my son, like, because of the five year old being autistic, why don't you guys move the civilization or something? Move the civilization. <laughs> no, move to civilization. Oh no, not at all. Oh okay. Well, it's nice to be in the country. Then we can't make excuses about. We the walk town outside being small and we sit anymore. in our egg chair and drink our coffee and look out into the. Yeah, people green can't sit grass. outside, or have green grass. Anywhere else. For me, my house the, doesn't have an outside or green grass. But you're also probably like two feet from somebody else. Yeah, that's a, that's a deal breaker. I never for hear me. them or see them. I don't know what's going on. I feel like just I do have a neighbor. Whenever nah, everybody's two feet from you and two feet, you fart and somebody else can hear it or smell it. it I just... don't think you guys know what suburbia is. You know, you're talking about living like downtown in a like, not even like a real condo. You're talking about living in like a closet or something. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Five hundred fifteen dollars. Uh, in that account when you made the car payment and transferred some money in. There was $20 taken out of a cash app account. Okay, it's nothing. But Oh, but we had fees anyway because we like to get everything that has fees. Oh, that's the savings. Is this the savings? savings? I think so. Okay, so why is this sitting here and we aren't haven't paid off some of the debt? Because 4500 in savings It's actually like... We typically the, save money. We just don't use it to pay well, the debts. I mean, so we did use twenty five hundred of that to put the down payment on the van. Okay, and then so right now we have like twenty eight hundred. I say like throughout the year, like ten to twenty. Generally, where does it go? We have in savings. We just keep it and just allocate it. Ten to twenty. We say I try to I try to save six hundred a month. I move three hundred every pay period. But okay, well that's seven thousand two hundred. At least once a month, I end up transferring from savings to checking to cover. Okay, well, then we're just obviously not budgeting. Again, go through the budgeting program, please. Please. And and a lot of this, of the 4500 was was um, when we got our Wait, short-term. What was this, egg chair? 
Oh, I must have missed it. No, it's you paid affirmed off. it. It oh. was paid off. At thirty six percent interest. When did yes. you? Uh, oh, did it take the full ten months though? I did. A chair, uh, an yes. egg chair, whatever, whatever that even is. It's those things. And that it's thir- like thirty six percent interest. Very comfortable and loungy. I'm trying to have a lounge. It was on. So it was on sale, sure and we bought it. The way to go. And when it was on sale. But a lot of the money that was in the savings oh, I know account. Nature. Yeah. A lot of the money from the savings account was from the short term disability. From when I was out, that's what that most of those funds were. Uh what what carrier did you say you needed? We have AT and T. That's the only one that we get at school. They use T Mobile. No, we had T Mobile. Yeah, it was horrible. Okay. Yeah. I mean that's fine. If it doesn't no work, reception. it doesn't work. Um Okay. This is someone's retirement account? Yeah, so I so this is what's in there right now. 17, yeah, that's years. mine. Yeah. What's this? That one's his. Because the statements. So if you look, the statements. Oh, this is his. Because they only generate a statement once a year. So this is the last statement. This is the current balance. Oh, so I had some older ones as well? No. that's the. So that's what was generated at, in August for me. But this is what's in there currently. Because they only generated at the beginning of the oh, school I year. Oh, see what's happening. Okay. So like he okay, started so with 17. for you, 21 for 21. you. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh, I made it. <laughs> wow. That was aggressive. That was, uh, oh, okay. Net money that goes to debt, $2,103 and two cents or 22.7% of your spending. Housing 1.9% or $179.35. Phone 3.5% or $323.48. Transportation 8.4% or $779.29. Obviously, we took out the payment that just hoping that your mom. Wait, but that doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, I guess that's all that went to the car at the time. Well, um, so the car the I normally pay the car payment like for our cars out of my the Capital One account. Yeah. And then we didn't see the thousand dollar payment hit. Oh, because we haven't paid our first payment yet. Oh, it's that new. Yes, yeah, it's brand new. Like it still has paper me. plates on it. Kill me now. Eight hundred. Well, for what it's worth, mine did for six months, but that was me just being a naughty little boy. Eight hundred eighty-seven dollars and thirty-nine cents, uh, or nine point six percent, went to going to get groceries. Seven point three percent of spending, or eight hundred six hundred eighty dollars, went going out to eat. Unknown shopping, typically Amazon and the Apple bills, was a thousand dollars. Dang. Ten point nine percent. Medical healthcare, point three percent. Savings, one percent. Subscriptions, point six percent. Miscellaneous bullshit. Uh, things that do not improve this doesn't matter just extra bullshit $760.26 or 8.2% of spending other large purchases $2,370 or 25.6% of spending there's other large purchases for a little more context there instead of the kid watching Space Jam I should have put him through a course career (laughs) he probably would have loved it to be honest he actually codes his own video games and stuff like that yeah Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. He like wants to do YouTube and TikTok and all that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It, he wants to like he make video to, games. He wanted to see your setup back here, but then he was kind of denied. He was kind of. <laughs> he was denied. Oh, I'll yeah. I'll show him it afterwards. I can also. It's okay. Uh, I can also tell him all. Do, do you want him to know all the bad things about this? Room? I am very transparent with him do about you, debts and that we have a lot yeah. and we oh, paid no, 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 no. for. Oh, like do you want him to do YouTube and TikTok? I might, I'm fine with it. Because if not, I can tell him all the bad things that no one else sees. Oh, that I, also I mean, can't you complain can, about because people tell me I'm complaining. Yeah, but. I think he's he's just a very tech kid. He has always been like last summer. Was it last summer? He made 16 video games. Yeah, his own. Make video sure games. he never says anything even slightly naughty. Like <laughs> he's never allowed to make one mistake. Uh, okay, it was the hotel. The large purchases. The hotel. A cash withdrawal of a thousand dollars. A quicksy. Printify, Brightwheel, credit card portfolio management, SSA, and then even something at the school district, $78.11. Oh, the $78 is after school for my yeah. the two older ones because we have we get a discount for them to be in after school care yeah. because their school ends before we get out of work. So they work in the, they go to school in and the same district we teach. And they won't bust the kids to us. Yeah. Other districts mm. do, so but they So they get to suck so money to... from us. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, f- no, it just no one's obsessed with whatever this post show surprise thing. Oh, it just arrived, and, and it's gonna make me cry. Okay. Uh oh, like cry of happiness. I, I have no idea. <laughs> Who knows what this guy does? 
Uh, Net. What hits our account, Net? Uh, I made a mistake by giving him a budget for the post show, and now he's abusing me with it. I want to say it's almost 8,000. By the way, guys, in terms of uh, income and spending, in came 9,098, which is great, by the way. But total out net, and this combines, this means debt going up as well, was 9,266. So we were in the hole in the red last month. Okay. Oh, well, some of it was DoorDash. And who did DoorDash? I DoorDash occasionally. I try to. That's wow. how I pay the car payment most of the time is I, I try to make at least the car payment. An unknown and then some Zell, but payroll is 7,748. Oh, his brother, his brother, the younger one, um, who just moved in recently, we started making him give us money for Good. groceries. Yeah. Good. Oh, for and groceries then, especially. And good. then he's on our insurance. Uh, so he gives Why us- Why are you doing DoorDash? I like it. It's our opportunity to get out. She drives in complete silence and makes deliveries. Really? really? So or, that's why you do it. That's the actual reason. Yes, but it's also a, I, I don't want the car payment to take away from our normal income. So I try to well, just, supplement it a little bit. Just the way I'm reading it. It's like you're so zen about the debt again, but your wife is running DoorDash to try to get out of debt. He quicker. stays home with the kids. He's like, I'll, just, just, I'll stay home with the kids. I mean, I'll hang out. I'll play with them. You go do your thing. He doesn't like it. That's why we don't started. do you with your grandma and grandpa, though? Yeah. And like stepbrothers and sisters and like a million other people? Yes. They can't, they can't like look after something that poops its own pants? They do, but mm, I mean. Okay. What's our utilities payment on a monthly basis? Uh, Not including anything that anyone gives you. What do you guys pay? Uh, electricity, one, gas, internet. 177. Do you pay your home insurance annually? My my mother-in-law pays the home insurance. Okay. 177 for utilities. Okay. That's on top the of the water. solar. Yeah. Debt payment minimums. Let me figure this out. This is going to give me a second here. So much clicking. It's a lot of click clack. <laughs> Imagine teaching seventh graders how to add all that up by hand. No, thank you. I would never like to see a seventh grader again in my <laughs> life. Hey, we do a pretty good job at it. $3,137.64. No, I love teachers. I love teachers. It's like meh. middle scores. Meh. Like the devils of the world. When you were in math, like when you were in school, though, it was probably like a drilling kill. Like, here's well, the formula. I was the devil in school. Oh, wait. I was the middle schooler who made my teachers' lives miserable. We thankfully don't drill and kill them. We like make them use their brains. Oh, I, I don't even, I don't know what method, whatever. $3,137.64. That's our debt minimum payments. And that's not even including the taxes back owed or any of the student loans. So lucky you don't have payments on those. Y'all. Internet? Was that including the one? My mother-in-law pays it. Yeah, she pays okay. it. Uh, and what was the phone bill one more time? Two, uh, two, I think it's like 268 or something like that. Gas. Vroom, vroom. Drive. Both. Uh, oh, did you share the car? We, sh we go yeah. to the same uh -huh. car. Um, so we, it takes 50, probably 200 a month because it takes about $50 to fill up. Car insurance? It sounds really high. Probably because it is. It's 487 that but is. it's with his brother's car. Yeah. Does he give you money? Yes. Yes. Guaranteed? Yes. Has he ever missed? No. No. Okay. So what's your portion? 287 for our two vehicles. We have a paid off car. I have a Camry at 13. That's what I typically drive. I'm not I don't, I'm not into getting new cars, those kind Do of things. Do you need it? Um, I prefer it just in case something hits the fan. I know you're probably going to try to get me to sell it, but. Uh, it'd be cool. You know. Yeah. You, you can get like 9,000 for it. Yeah, I could just. Uh, right now, if you guys use my Moomoo Moo link in the description below, you can literally get 8% on your money that's sitting in there for three months. It's absolutely incredible. Plus, you'll get 15 free stocks just for signing up with my link. This is literally free money, so make sure you're taking advantage of it now. There is no reason not to. Sign up now. Link in the description below. Actually, How's like your, your, your parents? Like, can you not borrow that car? How much are they really driving? She drives across the yeah. city every day. She goes into San Antonio. It's easy, every 25 day. miles 25 one way. 25 miles Why? one way. Because that's on, where the bank is that she works. She, yeah. But she's on leave. Right now, yes. I mean, she just got on as leave. A, a day or two ago. Oh, gotcha. Okay, groceries. I'm just doing you guys. <clears throat> People, let them be adults. 
kind of tough. We buy groceries for everybody. Uh, not anymore. And if we don't, I don't. They're just gonna eat our food. They'll just lock it up. Have a conversation. What can we do here? Because we need to start. We need all the money to be going to I the mean, debt. Did because we... we're dramatically behind in retirement. We don't have a fully funded emergency fund. No. We're in a risky situation. We have back taxes. Yes, but how much did we spend on groceries? Like a thousand dollars? Is that really like a ton of? It, that that we, was for all nine. We of can us. make it less. We could. We could. We could make it. I think we could at least, at the very least, save two hundred bucks from that. That's, what That's two hundred bucks that could go towards that. About eight hundred a month instead of a thousand. I mean, I think that's realistic. Guys, have a conversation with them. They're adults. I know. They also bring in money. And if yes. they don't, they need to figure it out. Eight hundred dollars. That's what you get for groceries. Okay. TP fund. This is anything else you need to survive in life, and this does involve like school stuff or new clothes if that needs to happen. So, uh, uh, diapers, all that good stuff. Two hundred fifty yep. bucks a month. Mm, I think that should be fine because we have the two younger ones are both in diapers still because subscriptions. He's like, <clears throat> when do five year olds? When do they get out of diapers? He's autistic. He's autistic. So he's he does he's just I just had my very first conversation with him like a back and forth last Is week. Is that why you're still in diapers, Noah? Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Uh, for whatever's coming, uh, for whatever torture he's given me, I'm giving him pre-torture because I know he's going to deserve it. My goal for the summer is to potty train both of them. So I'm hoping because sis younger wow. sister is potty training that he'll figure it out. He'll tell us when he needs his diaper changed. Is the 11-year-old out there potty trained? Yes. Good. <laughs> uh, medical. Anything ongoing medical, like monthly basis prescriptions, costs, things that warp in? Nope. Uh, Jim? 50. Yeah. It's 25 for each of us. Anything else not in here that I need to include? Mm. This is your starter budget. You guys actually nail it down, but this is, just gives us an idea for a plan. Because it takes hours that, and hours to build the first that's all of it. I think that's it. Okay. Thankfully, my brother-in-law pays for most of the subscriptions, so we yeah. can still watch Disney Plus and Hulu and all that. Whatever you have, cancel. I don't, I don't think we have any. Okay, we have room. That's the good news. We have room. And to answer your question, what you can do in a month is actually a decent amount. $7,748 uh, is what you bring in. Now, do you guys do the thing where you make your payments uh, split uh, 12 months a year? Or do you go good? Yeah. Very good. They don't let us do it. Um, only over 10 months. Okay. Good, good, good. $2,578 is what you have left over on a monthly basis. It's a good amount of money. How much was sitting? Wait, in there? is the three thousand with the Highlander or without the Highlander? You're right. Yeah. You're actually right. So, so from the debt, we actually need to take off the seven. Now you need to be prepared to pay for Absolutely. it if they don't. But seven hundred, there is an extra seven hundred fifty. So you actually have left over three thousand three hundred twenty-eight dollars. The fact that you guys' debt is getting worse when that's when you could have left over is like. That's so behavior driven. It's just you guys need to have a conversation, be on the same page. Yeah. Whether or not you both fear the debt the same, you need to understand the consequences and like what what your goals are and what you want to do in order to get there. You need to figure that out and actually button down. And because of this, I, I rarely get to do this. It's exciting when I do, but just you know, fun and stuff for the family. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars of a fun budget. <gasps> oh, taxes. What? The $500 that we pay towards the taxes. Okay, but that's not minimum required. You just no, do not. that. Yes. Okay. $500 I'm giving you towards fun. Okay. Okay? You, you and the kids. Thank $500. You. Thank you. And I usually don't get to do that, but you guys have the opportunity here. I'm excited about saving now. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have I told you we need to stop eating out so we can like save and pay off debts? And you're like, Tell that to my belly but I want it. How much was in savings again? Right now, twenty eight hundred, and oh no no twenty eight plus five. So I thought 32. I saw more. Yes, but that was before we paid the down payment. Yeah. So what what's in there? Uh, thirty three, thirty two. Yeah, because it's across two two. Okay. Oh. Will the eight hundred include dog food? It could. How many dogs? Five. We have five. We have four. Okay, I'm taking a hundred out of your fun fund for okay. dogs. That works. And now your yeah. fun fund is four hundred. Okay. 2826 first month 
You're setting $1,000 of that aside into your savings and you have a one month emergency fund if anything goes. Okay, and there's an extra 1,800 left. I think for you guys, just so, especially for you, who you're not as like woo woo about the debt, I think you're gonna see more reward and excitement by doing snowball, which is tomorrow's the largest. So kill immediately. So many debts here, I don't even know what's the smallest. Kill immediately, destiny. That's killed off. What do we have? 1,800. So we just killed off 214. Kill target, 271. And um, we still have so much to play with. Wish this was in our sheet that I could sort. Uh, kill to discover it, 226. Kill after that's gonna be one of these. Uh, oh, 600, nope, 500, Sam's Club, 509. Still have 580, wow. We throw that 580 to Mer uh, nope, we pay off credit. The, the credit one, that's at 521. Cool, there we go. That's the first month and you guys literally just paid off five cards. And then trash, five cards and, then and capital one. I mean, uh, credit, credit, credit one. one, absolutely. And then you have a one month emergency fund. One month emergency fund and you killed five cards all in one month. So yes, what you can do in a month, a lot. Okay. And that's with you having $400 of fun money. Nice. So <laughs> those good things that can happen here. From there, the rest of this debt, uh, let's add up the credit cards, not mom's car. And every single debt you pay off also is just more money on a monthly basis that can go towards debt. That's what they call the snowball, just snowballs and snowballs. Yeah, I've heard Dave Ramsey talk about it. You've heard Dave Ramsey. And I've listened to Dave. Dave Ramsey since I was like yeah, she, in high school. Yeah, it's a really, yeah. So I don't, I try not to listen, but you're there Why? so long that things Why? kind of make it in. I mean, it's not that I try not to listen. I know I just said that, but it's just, uh, I don't know. It's not as uh, entertaining watching him as maybe watching you. Mm. <laughs> well, thank you. No, <laughs> I love Dave. Yeah, I awesome. think it's hilarious when he gets mad at people. Yeah, that's that's the cool part. <laughs> uh, so the 12266 of credit card debt and the consolidation should be gone. Oh, I was like, and I was like, I don't think we have 12000 in credit cards. Uh, should be gone in four months. Uh, four and a half months, we'll turn it to five. So six months total after the first month. So six months and you're literally credit card debt free and consolidation free. That's insane. That's really good. Solar will probably be minimum monthly payment until it's paid off. You know, high five when you do it. <laughs> um, I'll do it. Then with the money you guys have left over, honestly, the solar should be done. Or the taxes should be paid off in three months. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really should at that point. So that's nine months. Student loans, hopefully forgiveness. But that's not eating out. Then it's the car, and I really think just for safety of your life and the minimum monthly payment, I really w well, especially because the interest rate's high. If it was at like three percent and it was for four years, then I'd be like, okay, minimum monthly payment. But so we're nine months in. Let's say it's at forty <laughs> forty seven thousand because it's all going to interest right now anyway. Divide that by probably the three thousand five hundred you have left on a monthly basis at that point, and that does take over a year. That takes fourteen months, but that's okay because. Two years, a two-year total process. Two-year total process to get out of how many debts did I just add up? Just that's like, wild. That is like literally for the average guest that comes on the show, that's like a like a uh, two-decade journey. You know, you guys are beyond blessed, and you need to take advantage of it. If you don't, it's it's literally like it's the biggest waste of an opportunity that I think I've ever seen in the history of this show. You guys have Some two years training. and you can change your life. Six months after that, not even six, three months after that, because your overhead will be so low at that point. Three months, three to four months after that, you'll have a six month emergency fund. Less than two and a half years and your guys' life is completely changed. And then because you have such low overhead, just 20% going to investing for the rest of your, all right, for the rest of your life uh, or until retirement. You guys got to play a little bit of a catch-up game, maybe 25%. 25%, but you literally, essentially, because of the low overhead, have 60% to play with for fun. You guys are living like crazy. You guys get to travel and do all these crazy things and give them the experiences. Dude, that that guy out there is thir will be 13 at that time. You can fly him to Europe. I'm not even kidding. That's not even over exaggeration. And that's why you guys are catching up on retirement at the same time, having a fully funded emergency fund and not having any bad debt. I would move to see if the parents could get a loan of some kind and try to take the car out from under you just to minimize risk. Student loans, you know, we're 
you know. Uh, but that would clear things up. Like, you guys, you could have a celebratory trip in three years because you'll save up some money because it'll cost a lot of money to, you know, take five people. But Paris, you guys could do it. That's well, uh, that's well, you know, framed well. So I'm, I'm, I'm on board. It, it takes two years of sacrifice. Are you sure? Because you say that. And then we went, we did go one month without eating out at all. We spent I'm giving $0. you four hundred dollars to eat out a month. Yeah, I felt good. I dropped some weight. I was feeling like younger, you know. Guys, four hundred dollars a month, and you're yeah. literally able to go to Paris, while catch up on retirement in three years. I mean, like, what 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 are we even doing here? That's the most no brainer decision anyone could ever make. Mm -hmm. No. So that's where we're at today. Um, make sure you guys stick around for the post show. Noah really wants me to plug that today. So, so <laughs> whatever is. So do I have to cancel my Patreon for you? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I actually enjoy watching the post show. No, well, thank you. It's I mean we put we put work into it, but only if you can afford it. You can get it in two years. Can I put it into no, that four hundred dollars? Yeah, you can put it in the fun money. It's taking <laughs> it's away $5. fun from him. But yes, you can put it in the fun money because I gave you fun money. Okay, spending in a budget. Right now, obviously we were over by two hundred, so we we're going in further in the debt. So spending a budget, zero out of ten. Again, you gave yourself a four or you gave yourself a two of the household debt. Zero. Back taxes, yeah, it's Negative not really five. your fault, but with where the debt is, this is so beyond horrendous. Yeah, that is a zero out of ten because of the back taxes, but again, it wasn't your fault, but it is attached to you. Emergency fund, we do have a start of it. Two out of ten. Three out of ten. Retirement, again, we do have a start pretty behind for our age. I think we're at about a three out of ten there. Real estate, paid off real estate that you are on the title for, it's pretty darn in at four hundred thousand. Uh, if people don't like that, I like to have uh, like a cash flowing property or two. And I'm just thinking of the best of the best is ten. Like eight is still an insanely great score, right? But people like you know they're upset when they don't get tens. Eight out of ten though. My dream is to buy a rental on the beach. Sure. That's like way 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 down the line, but yes. But because you guys in the first two categories hammer financial score is still a three out of ten hey, so it's actually in between what you guys said yeah. make sure to check out all the resources linked in the description below as they are what i use or would use in specific situations make sure to stick around for the post show and make sure to take our investing program so you can take control of your life finally and it's basically free with the cash gift you get from mumu stick around for the post show Today on the Financial Audit Post Show. So why is he going to cry? That's exactly what I'm teeing up right now. It's a roast of Caleb Hammer oh, no, happening. Super Every time Caleb hooks up with a girl, he says, like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Every episode is titled like a weird video, but that makes sense because Caleb's favorite category is a father telling his son he's proud of his YouTube channel. <laughs> well, that was good. Thank you, thank you, yes. To watch the financial audit post show, click the join button below.